want to tell them where we at? You pretty much nailed it all. Um, for those Damn, that- I nail them all? <laughs> nah, just yeah, kidding. You do. Yeah, you know you do. You little freak, you. How many guys in one night have you slept with? I don't know when's the last time I slept with anyone. <laughs> That's the sad part. Because I need to know your body count. My body count. My <laughs> body's telling me it. One. Oh, God, you're so lame. Anyways. So, first things first. Um, R.I.P. Rest in peace. Uh, take, off. take off from the Migos. One of the most influential rap groups today. 28 years old. In, in, yeah, 28 years old. Worth a lot of money. I'm not sure exactly how much. I mean, at but, the end of the day, the, I think talent, the, Migos, the talent, the yeah, talent. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a sad situation. I like condolences. His own people. To to his family, and you know, it in our day, right? And when I say our days, we're talking about really the '90s. You know, the biggest rappers that passed away was Tupac and Biggie. Right. Um, and then right before Tupac, a couple of years before that, it was Easy E. I don't know if I you was, ever yeah, listened it was to Easy E. Well, you're not really a gangster, so you don't know. Definition of baby original oh. gangster. <sighs> Listen, approach me I'm, like I'm, you hard. I'm glad you did your homework bank, before yeah, we did this episode. Yeah, I'm a fucking shank. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call in security. <laughs> I had a script under here. <laughs> not you know, Easy E passed away not violently, but because of AIDS. Right. And then a couple of years after that. Because I think Easy e passed away in 94, and then 96, uh, 96, 97, both uh, Pac and Biggie died right. like six months apart from each other. Shake Knight had nothing to do with it, right? Right. And <laughs> that's a whole other story. <laughs> but listen, when that happened, I remember, and now Pac and Biggie both uh, passed away violently. Beyond. And when that happened, that was the first. You know, that was really the first, you know, the first time. I, and I don't know if it was the actual first. I'm sure there was rappers. That, Already out to that, get you them. Know, right. But I'm talking about their status. You know, they were. They were top. Ten. They, they were, were like, top, yes. top, top uh, of their game. And for them to be violently slayed down like that, it was. Haters are real, guys. It's it your was, own people. It was, you know, shocking, to say the least, to my generation, at least, you know. Where it was like, oh my God, like that really, like yeah. it really got to that point, you know, where because even in my generation, I feel like a lot of the stuff they were talking about, because you know the the whole concept of a studio gangster, you know, came out, with, you know, with the gangster rap, where it was like, look, Tupac oh, the, was a ballerina, you knew that, right? What he was like a ballerina, he did ballet classes. A ballerina? Yeah, did I say ballerina? Yeah, ballerina, are, are you yeah. okay? Yeah, he did though. I'm I'm sure like he was probably maybe like in some type of arts he class. Was, he he lived you know did. in New York or something like Don't that. Don't make me feel like I'm crazy. I've seen like. But 100%. the point I'm trying to make with that is, <laughs> you know, at at that time when when that happened, it was like oh my god, like this whole gangster uh, 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 theme, you know, that everybody is portraying really came to reality and oh my god like people really got killed over this yeah. right but now it's just like literally i, I want to say like every month or every other month a rapper gets killed first it was like the mediocre ones like the new ones coming out about to get hot now they're going for all of our regular yeah, it, norms it, it's, it's, big guys you know pmb rock got killed last month Mac Miller. Um, Ma- um, Mac Miller wasn't gunned down, but you know he was given uh, 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 drugs. But I'm talking about like violently gunned down, like Pop Smoke. You know he got killed. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a few, a few uh, other. You know I really trip on like six nine. Like <laughs> nobody got him yet. <laughs> God forbid anything does happen to him, but I'm just saying it's shocking to me because you're taking out all the well, ones. Well, that... let me tell you. Let me tell you why. Because most of these cats that are getting killed, mm-hmm. for one reason or another, you know, they are going into other hoods. Like PMB Rock. You know where PMB Rock got killed at that Roscoe, like by, by well, South Central. Yeah, the chicken waffles. Like in South Roscoe's. Central. You know, so like the worst neighborhood, you know, he went with all his jewelry, you know, and, and obviously people were like, oh, OK, well, there's people starving out here. We're going to come get you. Pop Smoke, you know, he came out, you know, it was an, a, 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 a really good neighborhood. I think somewhere in the Hollywood Hills accidentally posted uh, uh, an Instagram where the back of the address was peaking. 
And that was enough for gang members to find him, and they killed him. And now, now, now the Migos. And, and I know there's a few other ones. Um, a, a you know, more than a few. Yeah, there's quite a few that, that have been gunned down. And, um, you know, it, it, now with the Migos, and the Migos were like the, the, the top of the game, you know, when it comes down to, to rap as far as, you know, this new generation is concerned. But it goes back, you know, where it's like, you know, you live by the gun, you die by the gun, you know. That's an old samurai saying, when you live by the sword, you die by the sword. So Takeoff was actually Cuevo's nephew, yeah. and it was Offset's cousin. So they yeah. were a team before they broke up, and then Offset went on his own and so forth. But he was in Houston, and it all happened over a game Both of... Both of them. Take, uh, uh, Cuevo was there, and so yeah. was Takeoff. And it all happened at a bowling alley, all over a game of craps. So I guess the guy was upset that he lost because there was a lot of money involved. So here's my question. My first question, okay? Where is your security? Bro, you, you're worth like $100 million. Where is your security? That's my first question. Because when you're worth that much money, and everybody knows it, right? With all of the jewelry and all of your, like, the lifestyle and everything, everybody knows you have money, right? So right then and there, you can't move by yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't move around. Like, and you're in someone else's hometown. And, and, and you're in somebody else's hometown without security. My first question. My second question, bro, you're worth $100 million. Why are you shooting dice? Now, I get it. It's fun. No, it's definitely a game. It's, are you kidding hold me? Hold on. If it's a game, okay, do it with your other successful I, rapping friends. I don't blame them on that one. I don't blame them on that no, one. No, no, Because, no, you know, at the end of the day, they're all street boys, and they it doesn't like to matter. work. You well, know, let, I like to play around no, the no, block No, 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 no. You're, you're, you got it messed up. You got no. it messed up. No, 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 listen. What game do you like playing? I like playing craps. Would you go to Compton tonight to play? Absolutely on God. You would not. I, I just said on God. Listen, I wouldn't put it on God. Listen, on my necklace, listen, I would. Listen, you would get robbed. I would. You would get you're robbed. You're asking me again, and I'm telling you the you truth. You would get robbed. Believe me, I would. And here's what I'm telling you. If someone told me right now there's a hot-ass game of craps happening, and this is who I am, I would In go. the hood, you're going to get robbed. I've been there. You're going to get robbed. Okay, then so be it. But the, if you're the, asking the, me the, if I would do it, I well, would. Well, well, here's what it is. If you make that choice to go down into the hood. I already know the consequences. Well, so then, what comes, then, what comes. Then why do it? But I'm saying... Then why do it? Because here's the thing. You're going to be in an environment surrounded by people... I know people. who to go to Compton with, but Hold on. It doesn't matter. It doesn't Shit's matter. It's going to happen it no matter where well, I'm at. This is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. If you make that choice to say, I'm going to go into this bad neighborhood. Now, when the whole world knows that I am a multimillionaire... And I'm going to be in a crowd with guys that are hungry, that are starving. Not Maybe there's probably maybe a few drug dealers amongst some few hustlers that have money, but not all of them have money. 100%. So when you decide to say, you know what, like PMB Rock, what are you doing with all your jewelry going down to South Central? And he had that same mentality. Yo, on God, I'm going to go. Well, guess what happened? They were waiting on you. They're yeah, going to blow your dome off. Listen, That's, at the end of the day, it is what it is. But what sucks the most is this. Why does it have to be black on black crime? It's not that. Why it's not it that at all. Your own Let me tell you something right you. now. Let me tell you, It has nothing to do with that. If you right now go to Compton or South Sa or Watts or any of these hoods and you decide you're going to pull up in your BMW and I'm going to go, something's going to happen to you. Has nothing now, or you're saying always, always bullshit. It all, always, bullshit. Because uh, uh, we're not gonna go there, and I'm not gonna get into detail. But I used to go there for five years every day. Yo, l l so let me tell you right now. Let me tell you right and now. Nothing's ever happened. L let me tell you right but now. But I'm not saying it couldn't happen. Let me tell you right now. You know, going down in certain neighborhoods. Ali, I promise you, I went there five years straight because hey, hey, I was talking listen, to listen, someone listen. from. Wait, let me finish. I was talking to someone from out there. A coworker that I was actually dating. So he was from that area, the worst of the worst of it. And I was driving a brand new E Class Mercedes at that time. And I drove out there every day for about four and a half years. Still. So I'm just, so basically let, I was just blessed let, to get out. You got lucky. Oh. You got lucky. You that, that That's straight up. Because if you're going to go into a neighborhood, but that person was also very well known. It too. doesn't matter. I mean, it's the I mean, same had, thing. Well, I'm it, sure you had enemies. It's I'm the sure whole. It's, listen, too. it's the same argument that everybody's having right now. Checking in, right? 
And everybody will tell you, ch checking in means nothing because there could be an OG over here that you're checking in with, but that guy across the street, they don't care. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey oh, Hussle I believe got, in that. Nipsey got gunned down in his, in his own, own parking neighborhood. Lot. So there you go. There you go. Look, you hypothetically know? speaking, I'm not saying it's not there. What I'm saying is you asked me from the get-go if I'd be scared to go there. No, and no, I, no, no, no. You said would no, I. No, you no, no. I didn't I. say would you scare. I'm saying if you. So you my, my, no, no, no. You said, let no, me, no, no, no. You're gonna, we're going to go against each other. right? You said if right now would you go there. I said I would. You said no, you wouldn't. I said yes, I would. Okay, and now I'm saying if you go down there tonight mm -hmm. or on any night okay. to, to gamble, right? Something's gonna happen to you, and 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 I'm saying that because might, might not because uh, it, it will because you're looking at guys that are from the hood, they're going into these neighborhoods with other guys that are blessing them. Yeah, there's always you know? gonna be a few like, and that's you know, what it is. That's, there's always a few strays that are haters. Well, I get it. Well, that's what happens. So, like I said, you said what I got lucky or I was blessed. Absolutely. Because listen, so be it. Because it wasn't my first rodeo, and it wasn't one time. But but, but still, it was it, years. It, listen, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It could, like you could listen. You could be somebody. You know, I like, could go downstairs right now, and there's a hundred homeless people, and someone could get but me. But see, that is an unfortunate circumstance. You're not putting yourself in a bad situation. If you, as a female walking downstairs at eleven at night, that's an unfortunate situation. But that's not you saying, I you know what? It's the same. No, it's not. That because for me it is. No, it's not. Because let me tell you. Let me tell you why. If you decide, like tonight, I'm going out to Compton to gamble, you right? I already know the consequences. Something gonna happen. Because especially when people know you got money, I still especially don't think like when that. people will go, something's gonna happen. I, now, I'm if you're a like, female and go. you're walking down the street and you know somebody attacks you. That's just an unfortunate situation. Well, if situation. I was walking down the street naked, I would expect something to happen to me. No, but I'm saying, like, if somebody wanted Maybe to, Maybe I'm like, just a risk taker. Obviously, no, we no, all no. Know but, I am. but again, going back to these young guys, these these rappers, these ra listen, and I'm telling you, these guys, they come from the hood. So, these but you know, let's backtrack on the boat, like, real quick. So we're off this. <clears throat> do you know that Takeoff wasn't the only one that was shot? I know that. So there's three. Right. That's what I'm saying. When you're in an environment like that. Right. When you're gambling, you think those guys want to give up their money to you. No, there's something going to happen. You know what I mean? It, 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 listen, every day this shit happens. All day. You know, it's 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 on the news because he was involved in it. Every day that shit with like PMB rock happens all the time. Nipsey Hussle got killed in his own neighborhood. Parking and lot. he was in front one of, of the shop, OGs. Marathon. You know, he was one of the OGs, you know. He was kicking it with Cowboy, like with the biggest OG from the Rolling 60s. He was kicking it with his killer a couple hours before discussing something. So at the end of the day, when people know you got money and you are in an environment, you know, and Better that's the same theirs. argument I'm gonna make to you. Nipsey Hustle, how how old was he? He was what? In 30. his in his 30s, right. All his life, all the dirt he did, he got lucky, nothing happened to him. But on that night, he wasn't lucky anymore. That luck ran out. Somebody ran up on him and shot him. All that pride, all that success, everything got taken but away. But he was never like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was always very giving, very caring. It doesn't matter. He it was, doesn't he matter. Was because actually, he was actually the block. He's a, he, was a, he was trying to make sure everyone in it his doesn't survived. matter. There's people out there that absolutely don't care. That's what I'm saying. There's people out there. Let me tell you something right now. When when the person has the heart to walk up to you and shoot you and shoot Dome you, you. And, and shoot you in the head and shoot you in the Heartless. neck. You know, I promise you that person didn't wake up that morning thinking like, oh my God, you know, this is a giving world, or you know what, that person is a giving. No. no, people no. wake up fucking no. ugly. Their no. hearts are dirty. And that's what I'm telling you. Like you know, and 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 this happens all. So that, that, that's what I'm saying. All of these guys, and when I say all these guys, all of them, all these rappers come from the gutter. All of them come from ghettos 100%. everywhere. You know, 100%. whether it's New York, whether it's L.A., whether it's Texas, whether it's Chicago. Look at, you know, King Vaughn, you know, thinking about him now, you know. King Vaughn, same thing. You know, he, he's from O Block out there in Chicago, you know. Murders happening left and right. Everything, you know, boom, 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 and boom. Then you come he out goes and, out to Atlanta, yeah. you know, into another neighborhood. Boom, boom, pop, pop, and he got shot. So, you know, King Von d dodged many bullets. A little, look at little Dirk. You know, all what these. What about guys. the one that got shot in front of his donut store, whatever the donut store? Who was that? Which one? 
He got gunned down at the donut store. He went to go buy his mom some donuts just recently, like four months ago. I don't remember. It's another rapper. Look, and that's what I'm saying. You know, like most of these guys, right? The where, for the exception of Pop Smoke, all right, for the exception of Pop Smoke, but the majority of them get killed because they go into the hood. You know, they, you know, it's this. It's this longing where it's like, you know what? I'm <sighs> successful. I understand why people are such haters. I'm I'm successful now. I have this guilt, you know. If I move away from that, I want to. I want people to know that I'm real. But let me tell you something, man. Like I've been saying, like it's one thing if you know, um, Nipsey Hussle was you know in the valley and then he got killed over there, or like you know, um, or you know, Takeoff was you know, in an affluent area of Houston or, or Dallas or somewhere. I know they're, like, really far apart from each other. You know, and it's like, oh, my God, like, you know, this happened. But listen, it, it's the same thing, you know? Like, you're in the hood and you're shooting dice. Now, what do you think is going to happen? What, what do you think? This is Vegas? Where, like, what, there's security cameras and there's dealers yeah, and there's Yeah, but when rules. you're from the street, you like to play some street games. Like, I can't sit here and I get say it. that he was I get wrong. It. I, I get can't. It. Well, I, I'll Maybe tell you, the group of people he was playing with, he should have known better and played with your own people. I'll tell you what. But it happened. I'll tell you what. You know, plenty of rappers that came from that same background that have the same type of money where you can be like, you know what, let's get together for, you know. All day. I just shit. said it. It depends might, on who you with but and where you're at. you decide to go down the hood. And you just, again, when everybody knows you got money. They found his killer, I think. I, I'm sure they did, but who cares, you know? Right. Like, he's dead. You know, the, the that family. By the way, did he have kids? I don't know, you know? 28 but, years old, gone, you know, talented. It, exactly, exactly. Now, was that his first time in a hood anywhere? I doubt I it. doubt a billion percent. I promise you, you know, he's grown up in his own hood. He's been to other hoods has had interaction with other gangsters all his life, you know? But today was a day when he wasn't lucky. Look at Eminem's best friend, Proof, you know? At the top of the height of D12's, you know, career, this guy decides to go back into Detroit at a, you know, pool hall gambling with another street hustler. What do you think is going to happen, you know? Did they, he die? Proof. They killed him, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, this this happened years ago. This happened years ago. But again, the scenario is always the same thing. You know, it's not like, you know, something... Why, though? Why does it got to be like Because this? I'm telling you, when you are known to be successful and you're known to have, you know, at least a million dollars on your wrist and your neck and all that, and you go into that same atmosphere where there's other people that are starving... <laughs> Guess what? You, you think, though, and then on top of that, on top of that, they're gambling and now you're losing whatever you have. Uh uh. They, there's a, well, uh -uh. they are scared losers. Uh uh. You want to shoot dice that bad? Go to Vegas. Go to Vegas, shoot dice all day, all night. It's a different you know, vibe on the streets. Listen, you're not, when you're worth $100 million, you're not from the streets anymore. You're just not. You know, you might, ha you might think you are, but obviously you're not. You know, obviously. The moment you make your first million dollars, you're not... Can you please not do that? Oh, you can hear it? Yeah. Uh, my, my makeup got on it. <laughs> she likes to mess with the microphone. No, but that's what I'm saying. The moment you make a million dollars, right? You're not... in the Like right now, for example, look at Gunna and look at... What is this? Young Thug? You know? Millions of dollars, right? Millions of dollars. You know, when you just looking at their catalogs, you know, $100 million between the two of them. What are they engaging in? Fucking street gang activity. You know? They're I mean, both you could facing... Take the hood out the, you, what is that word? You, you could take, take the girl your, out the hood, but you can't take a hood out the girl? At your homeboy, but okay. But I was well, speaking to, you know. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, when you keep acting like that, well, now their careers are finished, for now, you know? They're facing Rico... Mm -hmm. You know, racketeering charges, which carries like 20 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? For what, bro? You know, the same way you, Gunna, Young Thug, you know, once you made your million, you have no business on the streets anymore. Hey, take off. It hey, sucks. Migos. Hey, Nipsey. Hey, everybody. Rest in peace. Hey, PMB Rock. Hey, everybody. Once you make your first million, you have no business shooting dice, 
hanging out in any hood, standing out in the hood in front of any store, or going getting chicken or waffles at any place in the hood. You just ain't got that business anymore, you know? I don't know. I, I, I kind of I, I'm against that because in my head, it's like, why not still be who you are? You can be who you are. Like, you, why can't I go get chicken and waffles with my girlfriend at a spot where I grew up? You can't. Why can't I go to the bowling alley let, and let, shoot let some me, diet let me tell you right now. my homeboy? Let's, like, let's, let's, look at, let's look at Jennifer Lopez, right? Jennifer Lopez grew up in the Bronx, one of the worst boroughs in, in New, New York. York. You know, the equivalent of, like, what South Central is out here, right? Do you ever hear about... J Lo going back and taking the six train or going around but the Bronx. She twenty four seven represents them. It, they, you do it in your songs. Do it in your movies. Do it in your clothing. Do it in your interviews. But do you ever hear about her, for example, hanging out at the Bronx at the same chicken place she used to eat at? Cardi or, B does it. You know. No, she doesn't. Cardi B does go to the hood and still hang out. No, she shows she the videos. Doesn't. Are you shitting me? No, I can show doesn't. you. No, she doesn't. Okay, you're wrong on I'm this. Telling but I'm telling you not right doing now. It. Let me tell you right now. Cardi B in the very beginning. She just last week was at her best friend's. Let me finish. She was at her best friend's house in her hood. Okay. Hold. Let me okay. finish. Okay. Finish. You just said it yourself. No, I'm not done. I'm not done. Friend's house. That went back to the park that they hang out on video. Everyone in the world saw it. And she's like, this is the neighborhood. This is the hood. She had all the homeboys behind her dressed in red. They left the house as you thought it's just house now. Now we're going to argue. They went to the block. And then they went to a club. She was trying to show where she's from and what she does with like 30, 80 people behind her. Okay, there you go. So she has property security. No, she had the she, hood with her. Listen, she, b by the way, listen. She, uh, wait, by the way, there was no security there. Listen, let me tell you right now. Offset, her husband himself says, and I'll show you this interview. He has security staying he does. at their well, they they're together. They're 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 husband and wife. He says, I have family i have kids i'm he has security at his house and he says we don't move unless we move militant so they have a shit ton of security that walks around with them okay so that night and i hope i could find the video and show you she clearly says i'm just back in the hood solo just kicking it with all my real beep 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 beeps from day one yeah i'm, I'm listen i'm not doubting that you, maybe 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 not and it but wasn't I'm the first you, video either but i'm telling you like her husband says, they walk militantly. They have security at the house. They I have security. It. They, even at some point, her dad, she's out with her dad, and paparazzi starts filming her dad, and she turns around, snaps at paparazzi, oh, I saw and that. she's like, yo, 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 don't get my father on tape because he doesn't walk around with security. I was you know? there. So, you know, so I mean, the, I wasn't there. I saw right. it. So, again, goes back to my first question with tape. Where was your security? You know, you you're by yourself in the dude. So you, you just said it. She was by herself. Right. What well, what I'm Thank saying is that you just she moves that. with security. I'm saying there's times where she does not. Look, we don't know her schedule. Right. From what she says and That's what her what husband said, what what her husband and what she says, they got security with them. Well, you just now, claimed that when she was with her father, there was nobody there. It was just paparazzi, and they weren't at Target. No, I no, think. no, no. She has security with her. But what happened is when they had her dad on video, they she's saying her, that when alone. I leave here, he's solo. He's solo. Right. So I don't want the neighborhood to know that my that guy is my spot. dad. They know, though. They, they, I'm sure some people know. You some. know, the same. All you got to do is Google but her they, dad. Right. But they move most of their people out of the hood. Like, the, As you know, she did. like even 50 Cent, when 50 Cent, when his grandmother's house started getting shoot, like he had to move. You know, his grandmother out of the hood, you know, where he was at. But again, it goes back to saying, if you are that guy, right, you need security, you, it's know? Just, you know, and it's, then on top of that, you are in the hood, not even people, your own hood. Some people like to really be free and the lifestyle they chose. Unfortunately, they can't. Now, listen, there's nothing free about that. No, me the, free meaning like be themselves. There, there's nothing free about that. I'm telling you, like, you know, be. Would you, you want to be that type of, would you want that lifestyle? I don't. Yeah, of course. Like, I, do? I don't have any, I don't have any business going to any hood. No, I'm saying, would you want that lifestyle where everywhere you go, you need someone to watch your moves and protect well, you? Well, I, I don't want that uh, lifestyle. Here's, if I, okay, look, obviously that's not my lifestyle. But if I wanted to get into entertainment, 
right? If now he, let me give, give you a comparison. All right. What if you Let's, love making music, but you hate what? Whoa. But let here's me what stop. I'm saying. Uh, Cardi B herself said, and not to make this co- conversation about Cardi B, it was about more about rappers that recently passed. Cardi B herself says, it, "I wanted the money, not the fame." Listen, let's take any other you know venue as far as you know being an entertainer. Let's look at actors, for example. Let's look at Leonardo DiCaprio. They don't DiCaprio. walk around with the security twenty four seven. Exactly, and you know why? It's because they're not showing off ten million thousand exactly. pounds of jewelry. Exactly. I get it. I exactly. Get it. So that's what it is. Now, does that mean like if Leonardo DiCaprio were to walk around, you know, anyway, people would be like, oh wait, I, you know, that's Leonardo DiCaprio, or that's Mark Wahlberg, or whoever, or that's the George the, the, Clooney, or that's or The Rock. Jennifer you know Anderson, what I mean? Yeah. More money than God, but exactly goes back to what I was saying. You live by the gun, you die by the gun. Adam Sandler you know, walks around like he's homeless. Who? Adam Sandler. Yeah, exactly. Like, but, but as a matter of fact, he's a great example. You know what Adam Sandler is known the for? Guy. To this day, Adam Sandler, you'll find him, you know, at basketball courts playing mm-hmm. basketball with random people. All day. Why does he not get killed? What, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio on the streets. Yeah. You know, Mark, all these big, The Rock, right? Now, mind you, The Rock has like, you know, he always talks about his team. They're all like ex Navy you SEALs know he's and Samoan, stuff. Samoan, by the way, right? Yeah, of course, you know. But again, first and foremost, live by the gun, die by the gun. So none of these people, or let's look at music. Let's forget. For, 90% let, let's of people in music let, let, are from the hood originally. But okay, g- good enough. So let's look at music. Let's look at country music, right? Country music, a lot of country you know, singers, very successful. Right. Rap you know? is just a different ballgame. Rap is a different ballgame. You know, because. You repeat what I you, say. Yeah, it is. Because it is. Because uh, rappers come from the gutter. Most actors do too. Yeah, yeah. They, they t- obviously, they talk about their mothers Most being prostitutes actors do too. and drug dealers. Yeah. Like Tyrese. Tyrese grew up in Watts, you know? So it's like. Most mad of these guys props come from to all of you, though. If you're ever listening to our podcast, mad props. Yeah. <laughs> so most of them come from that environment. But what is the difference here? What's the difference? A, these guys preach violence. And B, they want to still be associated with the gutter. Mm hmm. You know, because they need them for backup. How do you think the six nine stayed alive need, for listen, a long time? Listen, because me, six nine said, if it wasn't for some of my peeps from childhood, I wouldn't be here. My security is my security. My homies for a chump change, they protect me. Listen, another good example I can give you is Jay Z, for example. He was a smart man. Jay Z. So was Puff Daddy. Big, big, big time drug dealer. All right, mm-hmm. he talks about it very freely. But guess what? Once Jay Z was worth millions of dollars. Billion now. Right, right, right. Well, we're talking about, this is like, you know, 15 years ago. Once Jay-Z was worth millions of dollars, right? Never went back to the hood. Never. Never went back to any dice games, never did any of that <laughs> shit. You know what he did? You know who his backup became? Goldman Sachs. That's who he started hanging around with. Goldman Sachs, you know, Jimmy Iovine, you know, some of these big dogs, you know. And guess what? Now when you look at Jay-Z, never wears any jewelry, you know. No. Never flashes anything. No. Never, will never see him in any hood, you know, or any projects right. that he grew up in. None of that. He is what he is. Let me give you another example. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is from Compton. Ice Cube. You know, let's just look at Dr. Dre. Let's look at most successful ones. Dr. Dre from Compton, you know. The moment he was worth a few million, obviously with death row, split, started surrounding himself with top-notch educated people, most of Goldman Sachs people, started managing his money, started telling him what moves to make, started hanging around with Jimmy Iovine, CEO of Interscope Records, never found him one time. But you know what? His brother, his little brother, actually did go back to the hood. And he got murdered yeah. accidentally. You know, somebody fell on his neck, you know, and he got killed. So look at Snoop Dogg, you know, oh, the face you, the face of Crips. You know, like if you're thinking about Crips, you're thinking about Snoop Dogg, right? Same shit with him. Or Chan- Once he started Chan- making Chan- money, Chan- he left the hood. As a matter of fact, he moved to the South with Master P. The game. You know, right. So that's where it comes to. You know, it's like those of them that smarten up 
and realize that, wait this a minute. This ain't for me no more. That's Why do you think 50 Cent, right? If you look at his first G-Unit album and you look at the documentary, there's a lot of shooters with him, a lot of hood guys. Not anymore. But l- not anymore. Like the year, a year later when Jimmy Iovine took him under his, his wing, wing, he bought vitamin water, made $300 million off of it. He, did, did, he and, went bankruptcy and, though. No, right, Chapter 11, which basically that doesn't mean you're broke. What it means is that you're kind of uh, you you you, you, you bought you bought a little bit too much. <laughs> Your creditors <laughs> want their money, and it gives you a little bit of time to pay them off. You know that's what a chapter he eleven sold, is. He sold like a couple houses and all that. Yeah, because it was over overdoing it. You know, Fetty Wap, another example. You know, the guy with one eye. Yeah. You know, it's like the guy he they had an interview because he was facing some time for getting caught with like you know the ten kilos of cocaine. You know, my, mind you, he's a platinum selling rapper. It's like he had 12 apartments. And they were asking him, like, why do you have so many apartments? Oh, I don't know. You know, I just bought. Exactly. So those rappers. Does he still got money? Hmm? Does he still got money? Have any? Like apartments? No, no does he still have money? Fatty Wap. Fatty Wap. Not as much because he was even saying, like, you know, like he was doing shows at 100K and then shows at like 50K, 20K. You know what I mean? Like your value. Your value can decreases. Right. Because you know why? Because I'm telling you. Those those guys that surrounded themselves with the right people the moment they started making money flourished. P. Diddy, right? He doesn't even do music anymore. After what? His the tequila gun and shooting Ciroc? situation, he changed his whole life. Yeah. The gun S- situation at the bar with J-Lo and Homeboy that took the fall and went to jail, his whole life changed and he just went sky high, rocket disappeared. Yeah. He stopped doing music. Because first he was trying to be a hood guy, you know? And first he, he made a lot of money. Up, Remember, he was trying he, to get it. He was, he was a very established producer. Remember, he was producing Jodeci. He was producing a lot of people before he started right. his own label. But right. once, that's what I'm getting at. Once he started realizing, like, you know what? All this gangster shit that I've been preaching, it. it's going to come back to haunt me. Mm-hmm. Guess what? He started, you know, Sean John. He started, you know, he start, had, like, his own rims with, like, Lincoln. But his biggest thing is Ciroc and uh, what is it? D- uh, the tequila. The De Leon. De Leon. Right. Exactly. Oh, my God. I was so pissed Sunday. But guess what? The whole brand new bottle. Oh, that sucks. That <laughs> sucks. But that's what I'm getting at. You never find Puff Daddy shooting dice in any hood. You know, even though I'm he's sure from he does there. it at home. He's from Harlem. <laughs> at home. Yeah, exactly. At home, probably with Jay-Z he and has, Dr. He has Dre. a whole gang of kids. He's Jerizzi. Right. So that's what I mean. Like, those people... That feel like, like you said, like, oh man, it's like a street. Th- guess that I'm telling you, it's just doom and gloom over their heads. 50 Cent got shot nine times, and that was good enough for him. The moment he made his money, he was like, I'm out, you know, surrounded himself with Hollywood and, and Goldman and Sachs people and started, you know, getting good money advice. And guess what? Guess what? Top of his game, you know. Another good example look at Lil Wayne. You know, like Lil Wayne and the baby and them from Cash Money Records. They're smart. Not only are they smart, but, you know, they really are from that lifestyle. You know, like for real, for real. Like Master P even. You know, Master P, his brother, you know, C Murder, he's doing time, mm-hmm. you know, for murder. You know, baby and all these guys, they're really about that. But look at Lil Wayne, you know, as, you know, he claims he claims to be a blood. As, w- as he is what he is. He changed his whole life. You never see him in any hood. A lot of people didn't even think he was going to survive from all the drugs he was doing. But now look at him. But you'll never find him in any hood. Other than maybe his own Um, place. Like, you know, he has like, he, like at his house, he's probably going to invite all of his Mm -hmm. homies. You know what I mean? In his controlled environment. But I'm telling you, you know, that I'm telling you, if you look at it like from left and right and all these different ways, like those that. Decide like you know Nipsey Hussle is the greatest example. You know it's like yo I'm I'm from this neighborhood. Right. You know I'm I'm you know I'm Nip. I'm everybody knows me. Like you said, I do great things for the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, unfortunately, Jealousy's a motherfucker. You know there's gonna be somebody jealous that's gonna want. Uh, you know is it jealousy? You know or is it, it you know hate, sure jealousy. and I'm not denying that. You know but I'm saying like at the end of the day, man. People are hungry. Mm-hmm. You know, people are starving. You know, and at some point when Nipsey they have... Nipsey wasn't a flosser, though. 
It doesn't matter. You know, even if you're not a flosser, but you're still out there doing things for the community. P- listen, people that don't understand things are like clothe everyone that was homeless. Like he did the most he can for people. You know, look, another no, R.I.P. Boosie, you know, said the best thing on Vlad TV. Um, you know, Boosie was facing yeah. he was on death row. Yeah. Yeah. He got acquitted of like murder charge. Boosie is about that life, too. But, you know, Boosie said it the best, you know, because they're asking, like, do you, you know, do you go to clubs? Do you do a thing? And Boosie's like, no. You know, and he even says, like, I move with security. He's like, but he's like, it's dangerous. And they were asking him why. And he's like, look, man, you know, he's like, you know, the, the motherfucker sees me on like whoever, whoever is like hating on me, sees me on TV, hears me on Vlad TV. Then his his girl comes home. She's dancing to my music. Then his kids are dancing to my music. It's like everything is about me. And it's, so when he sees me, yeah, you know, it's gonna be on and popping. Makes sense, you know. And that's what they were asking him. They're like, so where do you hang out at? You know, <laughs> he was like country clubs. You know, um, that's crazy. You know, that's what like Tupac way back when you know when he said you know when he starts going platinum, making some money. That's what he was saying. He's like, if I move into a white neighborhood. As he did, Calabasas. Right. If I move into a white neighborhood, people get weary of him, you know, because that's old money looking at him like, Mm -hmm. what the fuck is this black guy, you know, doing? Doing And why does he have all this money? You know, so he's never going to be with like, he's never going to be part of that. But if he stays in the hood, you know, he's also going to be a target, Mm -hmm. you know, where he's going to be like, yo, man. Yo, Pac, why don't you give me a hundred grand? Why don't you give me? It's like, yo, man, I can't give you that. Money. Why not? You know, and then it turns into that type That's of situation. That's another thing. Like when people see money, they expect it. Like, bro, I worked for this shit. Well, that's what that goes back to. Even the Migos, even Takeoff. It's like, bro, you're worth that much money. Somebody's gonna be looking at that necklace. Somebody's gonna be looking at that bracelet. They're gonna be like, listen, that bracelet right there, I can eat off of that for a whole year. You know man, what I mean? Dude, this fucking world is dirty. You know, so it's like. Yeah, and and it goes back to what I was saying in the beginning. And if you choose, it's like you got to be successful in silence. Well, that's what that's how they did it in the eighties and nineties. Fuck, you know that's how they did it. But social media made bragging a standard. But that's what I'm that's what I'm getting at. Where it's like if you choose to say, you know what, me with my status, like ev- the whole world knows I'm rich. Mm-hmm. You know, like everybody knows I'm rich. Yo, my crib, my house, my jewels, my cars, my women, everybody knows it, right? But guess what? Tonight, I'm going to, not only in my hood, but I'm going to go to, let's just say, North Las Vegas. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to go to North Las Vegas, and I'm going to go. I'm going to dim it down. And hang out over there, and I'm going to shoot. Well, get Something's going to happen to you, bro. You know? Like, listen, when I used to do fugitive recovery, right? I did it for 10 years. I've arrested over 4,000 felons. Everywhere I went... The only the only states that I uh, didn't go to, which I couldn't go to, was Chicago. Ke- no, I've, I've been to Chicago, uh, Kentucky, and uh, uh, what is that? Um, and uh, and Connecticut, Kentucky and Connecticut, uh, fugitive recovery is illegal. Can't do it. Rest of the states I've been to, all of them. I've even been to Alaska. What it comes down to is everywhere I've went to go and arrest somebody, I was always in the hood somewhere. Yeah, I would never be like you know, in a normal rich right, place. in a normal rich area, you know, like it everywhere. And I and I tell you right now, and I've and I'm not even exaggerating. I've I've been to almost all the states, and every single time I went there to 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 grab somebody to nab somebody, it it got very dicey, mm-hmm. you know, very very dicey. And I'm not a rich guy. I'm not a famous guy. You're I'm doing not. A job. I'm just you know a regular Joe. You know, doing my job. You know, and then things would just get really hairy. You know, and it's not like people will care or they'll be like, "Yo, man, I should show some respect." Nah, dude, people are just gonna come at you. So, like, what are you doing in my place? That's what I'm saying. So it's like for you to be that rich mm-hmm. and that well known, you know, and for somebody like. Even if, so, right, if, if my friend today, you know, calls me, you know, because of my, my, because of my job, I have a lot of friends in Watts, you know. But to this day, if they call me and say, hey, come down here, I would say I have absolutely no business coming down there, mm-hmm. you know. Like, not too long ago, even in Atwater, you know, on, on yeah, that I side. That's it. Yeah, like, when I say not too long ago, like 10 years ago, my, my friend invites me. I'm on my way to his place. I get shot at. 
And then I take off. And so he calls me and he's he's on some other shit. And I'm like, and he's like, yo, bro, what happened? I was like, bro, that was me I was getting shot at. Mm -hmm. He's like, what? Yo, sorry, man. And he's trying to check those people that did. I'm like, I'm not coming back there. <laughs> You know, because that's that's the perfect example. It's like checking in with who? Who's got your back? You know what I mean? Like if those bullets start flying, you know what I mean? Like somebody's going to say, I'm sorry. You that's know, it, that's all. Like even if this this guy, this 20 year old kid, he got murdered. Now, some people say it was his own people that, you know, accidentally shot him or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Once those bullets start flying, you can't be like, oh, I'm sorry. Let me grab that back. Let me get that bullet back. It's in a my wrap. It's it. That's it. You know? Now who's gonna go and tell my son or my mom or my dad? It's like, you know, and it's people. It's a fucked up situation and, all the way around. And people will ask those types of questions, like they are right now. It's like, what was he doing there? You know, what are you doing there? You know, not only is it not your own neighbor, but it's in another state. It's like, bro, you have all these opportunities. You know, you have all the the, the money in the world. You have, you know, your life ahead of you. It's like, what are you thinking 28 about? Twenty eight, you know. What are you years thinking about? Old. You know, like so many other, so much potential. Oh lordy, you know. But anyways, guys, yeah. So, stay safe out there, man. Be cautious of what you carry, what you wear, what jewelry you have on. Or how about this? Don't go to the hood. <laughs> yeah, you can say that too. <laughs> don't be, don't be a known success and go to the hood for anything. Not for its chicken and waffles, not for its dice games, for nothing. People are starving. They and you will, will lose your life. kill you. There is no jokes about that. No. Nope. You know, like even, you know, walking down the street in Melrose or Beverly Hills, you might get got, you know, just by doing that. Now, again, here you are, PMB Rock. Here you are, Takeoff. Here you are, you know. Whoever, on. like now you got all this jewelry on. Now you feel like, oh, I'm I'm from the hood too. I understand this I lifestyle. Made I made it. I know. I just understand. Like I move differently. Or no, they'll respect me because I was from the hood and look at me now. The other guy, Young Dolph, you know, very, very, very famous, you know, highly respected guy in, in Memphis. When they were asking him, hey, how did you feel about Nipsey? I was like, Yo, man, I move differently. You know, like, I guess what? Nobody cared. Boom. He got gunned Don't. down, you know, by his Lamborghini. You That's know? the one I met. That's the one I was That's saying the by, guy, the, uh, by the donut shop. Maybe that was him. Young Dolph, yeah. Yeah, man. Stay safe out there, guys. Seriously, it's no joke. Stop posing. Nobody cares what you got. They more yeah. care about taking what you got from you. And if you're going to be a rapper, you know, and I get it. You got to do shows in certain areas. Yo, security. All day. Like, you need to have security militant i'm not talking about your homie you know that's a shoot i'm talking about go and put some money into you know a firm that will actually actually have trained professionals watching your back rest in peace to everybody um you know i mean again you know we all go back to our lives but those people's lives got shook all of them nothing's promised Anyways, guys, thank you again for tuning in with us to another episode of Disowned. Thank you, everybody, on Apple, Spotify, and everywhere else you listen to podcasts. Remember, guys, we are out every Sunday and Wednesday with new episodes. Do you want to say anything else before we wrap it up? No, I appreciate all of it. I'm like, no, but I started talking. I know. Appreciate all of our supporters. We seriously love you guys. We see you. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Love you guys. We out. <laughs>